Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex with Junk and Disorderly and I am a full-time reseller online. So I've been gone for a while now, I know. Um, we had the winter ice storm here in Texas a couple weeks ago. Everything was shut down for like a whole week. Um, I didn't get out to the thrift store obviously since everything was shut down. Um, and then a little bit after that, I ended up getting sick. Uh, my daughter got sick and then um, so <laughs> after we recovered uh, we were fine but I just hadn't been out to the thrift store in a couple of weeks so I haven't had really any hauls to do um, recently. I've been selling stuff here and there and I guess I could have did a what sold video but those types of videos don't do uh, too good so if you're interested in the what sold videos either weekly or monthly just you know leave a comment down below and let me know and I can start making those videos for y'all. Um, but I do have a very small haul for y'all today um, of everything that I've been trying to collect literally maybe like two weeks or three weeks before the winter storm. I went once to the thrift store and then once after and then I've been trying to go here and there. But I've just been uh, busy with work and I just haven't found a whole lot at the thrift store so um, which is kind of nerve-wracking since I have to find some of the thrift store to sell so I can make money but um, anyway I've been using Facebook marketplace and offer up trying to find things um, ordering online I've been going to buy sell trade stores also just because the thrift stores haven't been really I guess well what's the word I'm looking for organized or well um <clears throat> well anyway whatever they just haven't had a whole lot of new stuff coming in anyway um so I'm going to do a thrift haul today and um, I'm going to be recording maybe like two more videos after this so it's just gonna be like um, a vintage coach haul I have a few bags that I purchased and another purse related video so if y'all are into handbag videos you know just stick around and I'll be posting those um, a little bit later this week or next week but anyway moving on to the haul uh, the first thing I got was this uh, vintage corning wear. Um, I don't know. I think this might be one liter. Um, yeah, one liter uh, pot. And it does have the lid. So I have quite a few of these. I have my own collection because I use these as well and I like to collect them. Um, so I have maybe like three or four that I've just been purchasing every time I see them because um, before when I was trying to purchase them for myself, whoa, uh, let me put this down. Before when I was trying to purchase them for myself, I didn't come across them that much. So now that I have been coming across them, I've been picking them up um, just in case if one breaks, I can replace it or also to resell. I'm not sure um how well they sell i do know comps are um can range anywhere between like 30 and 100 dollars depending on the item and depending on uh the condition so i don't know i might try to sell it on etsy or ebay but i might just throw it up in the antique booth i'm, I'm not sure yet so i got that um and i got like three more two i got two of those and then like another smaller casserole dish but um Anyway, so I picked up these vintage green glasses. I think these are Libby. I already had three of these, so now I picked up two more of these. So now I will have like a complete set of five. Um, so I will go ahead and sell them, update my listings to five and take new pictures. And then, um, yeah, so I think for the set of three, I was trying to sell them for like $25. But now that I have a set of five, I might bump the price up to 40 maybe. We'll see. Um, the next item I got were these rainbow leggings and they are by the brand K Deer. Hopefully, hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. It's overcast today and I don't have any 
like um, umbrella light so hopefully it's not too dark but the brand is K Deer which is like Athleta I think I'm not sure if it's I don't think it's the same brand but it's similar to Athleta but anyway these are like a rainbow legging they look like a full length le legging these are size small and these were $4.99 but half off so 20 or $25 $2.50 um I haven't picked up this brand in a while before I think I could get maybe like 50 or 60 but now I think when I looked up comps yesterday they were anywhere between $20 and $50. Um, I think the rainbow pattern um, can get a little bit more. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and sell those for like $30 to $40 maybe. And the next thing I got is a Callan a flying by Flying Tomato dress. This is new with tags. Um, I actually got this one for myself. It's like a denim chambray... Um, three quarters I think three quarter sleeve like a ruffled tear dress um I got this one for myself um hopefully it fits but if not then I'll probably uh list it for sale also um I don't remember if I showed this one in a haul but this one is Urban Outfitters and it's like a pink and yellow tie-dye um sweater i purchased this for myself but i didn't like the way it fit um i wanted it to be like a more oversized loose fit but it was really tight so um i already have this one posted uh i think it was like i think i paid well for the dress i forgot to say it. the dress was 6.99 half off so 350 um and then the visions pot was four dollars i think <coughs> Um, and then this one was three to four dollars and I think I have it posted for 25 Urban Outfitters really doesn't sell for a whole lot um, so I'll be happy to get 25 since I did purchase it for myself <laughs> I tried to wear it uh, this one is by the brand Bandolino usually I don't pick up this brand but this is a vintage one and this one is a transparent lace um, it has like the buttons right there, but um, obviously you can wear it unbuttoned or button or halfway button. It definitely is giving me um, Charmed, the original Charmed vibes. I could totally see <laughs> Prue or any one of them wearing this actually, or even maybe Buffy the Vampire Slayer vibes. Um, it has like these really cool bell sleeves and it has a slit in there. And I posted this and it sold literally the same day for $25 on eBay and I wasn't expecting it to sell same day or for full asking price and on eBay and I think I paid like three dollars for that so I'm pretty happy there the next item is these rag and bone jeans these are the Dre style um I have kind of like a love-hate relationship with jeans or pants in general just because I cannot sell them for some reason I buy these you know rag and bone or made well or like good brand jeans or so I think uh, but they just don't sell and they don't move as fast as I would hope that they would move for but um, I purchased these and they have like a frayed hem and um, I think in the picture you can cuff them like the what is it like the catalog or like the website pictures they had them cuffed or uncuffed so hopefully these do these do good i think they were 6.99 and i think i have them posted for like 30 to 40 dollars um so i can get them moving fairly fast um i got some madewell jeans these are the cali demi boot cut jeans in a dark wash um <clears throat> i don't understand oh i got gosh. to make and um they're pretty good condition i think these are also six dollars and i also have these listed between 30 and 40 dollars um i actually picked up a lot of jeans this day that i went to this specific thrift store because i didn't find anything else other than jeans so, so i got these vintage xana d jeans and these are um a junior's size one 
There's the label and I actually had a pair of these either in middle school or in high school, I can't remember, but um, they're, as you can see, an ombre dark to light jean and I don't know, they're not labeled, but they're definitely not skinny jeans since these are like from the Y2K, I think, or maybe late 90s, but they're like a straight leg, maybe even boot cut, I can't tell, but yeah, I definitely had a pair of these and also another pair that was like the patchwork denim all over and I wore them to death, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, so I picked these up. I think these were like $4 and I think these were actually 50% off. So I might've paid two. It does have a few stains here. Um, I was hesitant picking these up because they are a size one, but I really did like the color. Um, and I saw some comps of similar solds to this for um 30 to 40 dollars and even some for 50 dollars uh the patchwork denim ones were the ones that were getting a lot more money um the next pair i got i actually purchased these for myself but they didn't fit um these are by the gap they are a cheeky straight and they are the button fly and they're like a kind of like light distressed straight leg jeans brand new with tags i paid like six dollars for them gap jeans usually don't sell for a whole lot but i'm hoping to get between 30 and 40 dollars for those um all the jeans are listed and yeah so all those jeans are listed already if anyone's interested <laughs> um the next item I actually purchased for myself, but I'm not sure if I want to keep it or sell it. Um, it is this um, studded leather crossbody bag. Very hobo, boho. It does have like a few stains on it. Um, maybe like water stains or some kind of staining. The leather is very soft. It has this um, canvas strap. It is not, well, it does have adjustments right here, but it's really, it's not really adjustable. It is removable. And this is by the brand Jill Sander. Um, let me see if I can show you. Jill Sander, and this one is made in Italy. The inside is very stained, if y'all can tell, like right around here and in here. And inside the bag is really stained um, and in the pockets I did try my best to um, get the stains out and wash it with Dawn and some saddle soap but and then I also use some leather conditioner the leather feels really nice and it smells like soap but the stains just didn't come out so I don't know if I still want to keep this one or not. I paid $10 for it, which is a good deal because Jill Sander bags are very expensive. Um, I did, I do have this one posted. I think I posted it for $60. The last Jill Sander bag that was similar to this um, was in way better condition. And I think I sold it for like $40, which I honestly was expecting to get way more for it. But I just... I don't know I just didn't I, and I don't know if this is like a vintage one or a newer one um researching for these Jill Sander bags are kind of hard because I just can't find a whole lot of comps on them anyway moving on to some mules some woven leather mules by the brand Nisolo and if these were my size I would consider keeping them but um never heard of this brand I just saw the woven um, leather and the leather soles they're size eight I think I paid like six dollars for these um, and this brand is actually expensive I already did sell these I posted them for like forty eight dollars or something and I got an offer within hours for like thirty or thirty five so I just went ahead and accepted it um, instead of countering um, just because I just per I just listed them and I got an offer right away and yeah so um, I picked up this vintage clutch 
it is real snake skin and then this right here is stingray and um it's really nice quality and it is by the brand r and a august agosti let's see there's the inside is suede um so i looked up comps for these bags and they were actually um really expensive i mean obviously because it's snake skin and stingray but i think um I mean, they were all over the place, honestly. A couple of hundred dollars from like 30 to $40. So I just went ahead and I think I posted it for 45 maybe. So we'll see how that does. Um, I don't know how good clutches do, but I'm still going to try and sell it. <clears throat> the next item I got were these. Mary Jane Wedge Dance Goes uh, in this suede leather. They're pretty good condition. And I, oh, and I forgot, I think I paid like $3 for this. Um, and then these shoes, I paid like $7, I think. Um, I don't pick up Dance Go a whole lot. I don't pick up the clogs anymore, but I do pick up some of their other styles because their other styles do do well sometimes um okay so i did list these for forty dollars um so yeah hopefully they sell between thirty and forty dollars <laughs> uh the next pair of shoes i got were these uh they're called twisted x boots antibacterial i guess they're like um flats or yeah i don't know or loafers <laughs> i guess but they're these like teal leather and they're brand new. Um, I paid like six or seven dollars for these. Um, I don't think these have a style name. I don't think so. But yeah, so I picked these up. The comps were okay. The boots by this brand actually did a lot better. But I'm hoping to get, I think I have these listed between like $35 actually. So I'm hoping to get... 25 to 35 for these hopefully um and i think this is the last item um so not a whole lot of stuff so i got these two wooden candlesticks and i think i paid 99 cents each um yeah really nothing to these candlesticks <laughs> um yeah so that is everything that i purchased literally i think within the last two weeks hopefully um things start to get better and um, the thrift stores put a lot out. I am hoping for garage sale season to get back into full swing. I think I have a couple of garage sales lists uh, ready or for this weekend to go to. So hopefully um, they still pan out and we don't get any bad weather. Um, so yeah, I guess I will see y'all in the next video guys. Don't forget to hit the comp, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And until next time, bye.